Hi, this is Ali from Sentinel HASP Technical Support. In this session, I'm going to talk about the HASP License Manager crash. Now, when talking about the License Manager, I'm talking about the service, the Sentinel License, Local License Manager service, which, as you can see now, uh, started mode. But the problem I'm talking about is something like it is not started, and even if you try to restart it, it does not start. Uh, there is some error message that this service cannot start. So this is the situation. Right now everything work is working fine, but suppose that I couldn't start this service. So the steps uh, that I'm going to uh, to take are as following. First of all, I'm, I, you know, because I'm working with the drivers, I would like to make sure that I'm uh, administrator on this machine. And then I'm going to load uh, the latest driver, any case. So we go, generally speaking, to asp.com slash SRM. Sentinel Asp Runtime. And I'm going to load, uh, to download this zip file. Currently it's 6.22 version. I've already done it, so uh, it's here and I already used command line to get into it. So now I'm ready to uh, either install or uninstall using the command line asplins.exe which resides here. So what I will do first is I will uh, remove any existence of the driver or the runtime of the hasp. I will do it uh, just by hasp deinst minus purge. The purge will make sure that all the instances of this runtime will be removed. So this is what I do. Uh, it might take uh, several seconds to finish but I will proceed. The next thing is to go to uh, to set in control panel and add remove programs and over here I will make sure that there are no Sentinel HASP runtime or just HASP runtime um, and if they exist I will make sure to remove them so let's skip on, on uh, that uh, uh, currently, uh, the operation successfully completed of the Haspdins minus purge, uh, and suppose that I don't see here any Sentinel um, license manager, any Hasp license manager, so this is not required. The next next thing that I will do is I will go to registry and make sure that under software Aladdin knowledge system, of course, under the local machine HK local machine. Uh, software Aladdin uh, knowledge system HASP driver I don't see anything right now uh, it's, since I opened this registry before the uninstallation uh, this uh, key used to be exist but now if I press F F5 I can see that it does not uh, here anymore so I can make sure that this uh, registry uh, key is is not uh, does not exist anymore and then I will go back to the services where I was uh, previously seen the Sentinel uh, local license manager I will do again F5 in order to uh, refresh and and now I can see that it does not exist anymore and I can also see that there are no HASP um, any ASP or Sentinel HASP uh, license manager over here so it means that there's nothing but since we are talking about uh, troubleshooting of this issue I will also do another thing I will go to uh, C Windows System 32 drivers and I will look for AKS drivers AKS driver as you can see here again uh, I've opened this uh, directory prior to uninstalling and you can see here uh, some of the AKS uh, drivers that belongs to the 
Sentinel Hasp license manager uh, or the Sentinel Hasp runtime as a matter of fact uh, so they existed over here now if I do F5 in order to uh, refresh then I might not see this AKS uh, anymore and if they exist what I would ask is just to uh, erase every AKS that exists over here I will erase them and in addition I will look for a HASP file I don't have any HASP file if I have any HASP file I will erase them again um, take into consideration that this might be other files but generally speaking we are talking about files which are AKS which start with AKS or with HASP this should not uh, appear anymore here and then finally I will go to C Windows and look for AKS log this one AKS uh, DRV setup dot log and I will erase it this log is the log that is created and updated every runtime installation and uninstallation but I want to remove it just to have a new uh, AKS log to make sure that I capture only the latest runtime installation um, afterwards so I erase it now for now uh, all the steps that I have taken were for one reason to remove any existence of the uh, HASP runtime from this machine and I expect no runtime to be here of course I can uh, open uh, Internet Explorer and go to uh, to the ACC by clicking the local OS 1947 and I expect expect to get nothing because uh, the runtime does not is not installed anymore here so first step to uninstall every existence of the runtime uh, we have done it successfully and now well, let's go to the next step the next step would be to uh, install again uh, the ASP the inst. I'll go, go back to the command line and here I will install using has the inst with uh, minus I so you may get here uh, uh, once again the the problem the, the original problem of uh, license manager which cannot start obviously I don't have this problem here so I cannot show it to you but uh, this is the next step and let's suppose this is going to be successful of course uh, everything is working fine on that machine but suppose that you still have this message of uh, license manager cannot uh, start so what we would do is uh, as following first of all it's, it's successful but uh, one thing that I wanted to show you here is that uh, there, there's a new AKS log and this AKS log, we can open it. We can see that uh, driver 622 started, etc. And uh, I guess that everything is working fine and it, it is finished and everything is okay. But I guess that if you have some kind of problem, you will uh, see some notes over here. Uh, you might uh, even look for uh, the word error. But uh, if, if it's error zero, it means that it's okay. If you get a number, another number, there might be some problem. Here we don't have anything because, as I told you, this installation is, is fine. So, again, we suppose that there is a problem and the license manager service cannot start. And, and even we go to the services again, looking for the Sentinel. Uh, let's do a five in order to uh, uh, refresh it and now we can see sentinel local license manager and again I try to uh, to start it and uh, suppose that I see that it cannot start and I continue the next thing that I want to check is uh, whether perhaps port 1947 which is usually used by this uh, uh, license manager perhaps this port is being occupied by another uh, by another program another application another service in order to do so I will use netstat 
minus INO and we'll see whether uh, port 1947 is being occupied by the process ID that belongs to the uh, license manager. Here I see 7340. I will use task manager in order to get and here I go to the view select columns and uh, make sure PID is uh, checked in order to see it and then I want to see 7340 uh, PID belongs to who and I can see that it belongs to the HASP LMS.exe which is the Sentinel HASP license manager it's okay. Let's proceed to the next uh, test that I want to, so to do is uh, to use MS config in order to uh, I run MS config from uh, from run start run and I will use it in order to change the services here so after restart there won't, there won't be any other services except for Microsoft ones and except for the Sentinel HASP uh, local license manager uh, I'm not going to show it because we have another video for that which explains how to do it uh, the next step would be uh, to run uh, uh, the net uh, to run uh, the MS info 32 in order to collect information uh, from that machine and provide it to us uh, once again since it is ex well explained on another video I'm not going to show it again now the next step would be uh, to see whether you have any antivirus or firewall installed on that on this machine which can explain uh, the behavior of uh, uh, the service uh, the sentinel license manager which cannot start usually uh, antiviruses can for instance detect this license manager as a threat uh, since it's a security program it might uh, find some uh, bizarre uh, behavior that might uh, for this antivirus uh, might uh, be observed as if uh, some uh, malware file some virus or something like this and it, it will uh, just uh, stop its work so uh, so the next step would be again to uh, uninstall the antivirus why uninstall and not only disable it because uh, in some of the antiviruses even if you just uh, disable it it's not enough uh, it's still working in the background it's still uh, doing things and this is why we recommend uh, to uninstall it before uninstalling the antivirus it's uh, uh, very recommended to also to disconnect the network cable of this machine uh, in order not to be exposed to uh, to outside the outside world without uh, antivirus etc another thing that I would suggest is to, s to check whether the same issue occurs on uh, another similar machine perhaps uh, we can learn f something from that and uh, of course uh, we have seen that uh, under C Windows there is an AKS log uh, which captures some of the information and this, some, this is something that we would like as technical support to get as well also it is important uh, to get uh, the event viewer if we go to uh, my to manage my computer manage and we go here uh, to uh, to event viewer application we can find whether there is an application of ASP LMS which reports some error and perhaps this error might be useful so if you uh, provide us with the application errors of the event log uh, this might be useful as, as well and last thing if uh, the issue cannot be uh, fixed uh, perhaps we will be needing uh, a P2V image a VMware in image of your machine with with the issue and uh, how to create a P2V uh, VMware converter there's another video you might see I hope that uh, you will be able to fix the problem if uh, you encountered it. Thank you very much for watching.